Welcome to Jocelyn's Cabaret, where your every desire will be fulfilled. <laughs> Welcome back to the official Jocelyn's Cabaret after show, where you're going to get all the latest Jocelyn's Cabaret news and tea as we break down the weekly episodes on the Zeus Network. Okay, this is season five of Jocelyn's Cabaret. Episode two, they are in the... Lone Star State, is that what they call it? Lone Star State, Texas. We're in Texas, baby. And this ain't Texas. Ain't no hold. So lay your cards down, 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 down. Um, so we know that, but before we begin, y'all know the drill. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video, please. That helps me get into the algorithm. That brings more eyeballs over here. So like, like, like this video if you don't do anything else, okay? Get in the comment section. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on episode two of Jocelyn's Cabaret. And last but not least, if you want to donate to your boy and help us sustain and grow this channel, you can join the Damien After Dark movement by getting in the description box below. And there will be some ways that you can donate, okay? Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. I really appreciate you guys from the bottom of my cold heart, okay? Now, we know that this episode opens up with last week's fight between Andrea and the queen, Wet Wet. These hyenas will not leave Wet Wet alone. The hyenas are Danny and Andrea, if you're new here. They are called the hyenas. Um, can we talk about, I want to talk about why the fuck Zeus and Andrea are calling her voodoo. Why are we calling Andrea voodoo? I mean, even Zeus on their Instagram page, when they promote the show, they have her, as, her name is voodoo. Ain't nobody calling that wench voodoo, okay? She, no, it, it ain't happening, and I got more, I got more on Andrea, okay, we ain't calling her childish ass that, and one of my subscribers mentioned last week, and this is so true, I'm sorry, I don't remember which one of you guys it was, um, but one of y'all mentioned that all of a sudden, Andrea has like this gangsta persona that she didn't have last season, last season she was more sweet and quiet and reserved, and this season she's like trying to be all like, uh, uh, uh like she's been around Jocelyn for a couple years, and she thinks she's some thug bizzle and can fuck anybody up and it's like girl nobody is scared of you nobody that voodoo dog you be carrying around ain't even scared of you bitch like come on like what are we doing i think i might dislike the hyenas more than i do on a mac and that's bad that's bad i definitely I, and i like andrea more than i do danny but i just really can't stand either one of them um And you know, you ever heard the statement that transphobia affects all women? And that's a true statement because I'm gonna be real with y'all. There's a lot of people who would look at Danny and think that she was a little boy. No shade, but got the body of a little boy, you know, face giving brick. And don't get me wrong, Danny. Danny's had some pretty moments. It just depends on what she's what kind of wig she's wearing. Because sometimes them wigs be so overpowering on her little body that it just looks bad now so there have been a few moments where, where um danny looked cute but other than that like it's more so her personality her personality she wants she's a pick me so bad she's one of the biggest pick me's on zeus network um now andrea here's what i wanted to say about her while i'm on her i don't want to forget andrea with this voodoo doll in the confessionals and stuff is so unoriginal so inauthentic that would be what judy is doing or not judy what andrea is doing is the equivalent of one of these girls coming in here saying i run la i run la you're 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 jack and natalie's thing and that is exactly what andrea is doing with this voodoo doll she wants to be judy 
you can tell that Andrea, she's a young girl. She grew up on BGC like a lot of us did. She studied Bad Girls Club. Judy was probably one of her favorites. And she's trying to be like Judy. And and the reason why we loved Judy, Andrea, is because that is who Judy was authentically. Judy didn't just say, let me bring a voodoo doll and pretend to... No, that Judy, you know, that was off the dome. That was this. This is this is who she is. She's the voodoo vixen. You are not my love. You are trying to be someone that you are not. And that's why the fans cannot relate to you. That's why you don't translate well over the camera, because you're trying to be all these different people. One minute you want to be this sweet kind little girl the next minute you want to be you know this thug that can beat anybody up the next minute you want to be judy from bad girls club like girl sit down you look like a fucking clown you could the girl you could you couldn't be original or form an original thought if you tried it's sad um now baby wet 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 held her own with them hyenas because them hyenas were coming after her left and right i mean one would attack her then the next one would attack her then they would attack her together i mean they were coming back to back and you know they she, i feel like she got the best of them at times and there was a couple of times where uh, danny might have got the best of her but either way she was on her wonder woman bitch ching 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 come on chung lee ho chung lee wet <laughs> um and y'all know what i love about wet wet let me tell you what I love about Wet Wet. No matter what is said to Wet Wet, no matter what is done to Wet Wet, they can say her breath stank, they can say she ugly, her teeth are bad, your wig look like shit, bitch, your titties is like, this. they can say whatever they want to say, but Wet Wet gonna always hold her head up high and remain the confident ass bitch she is, okay? And that's what I stand. And another thing is the Wet Wet that we're seeing, why why I think fans love her is she's being unapologetically herself. Is Wet Wet been any different than she's been in the last three seasons? No. That's who she is. You've got to be yourself. Stop seeing these other reality stars on TV and trying to emulate them. It's not going to work. Be yourself. Everyone else is taken. Okay? Now, in this moment where they're outside and, and the hyenas are attacking Wet Wet, Danny and Andrea, they're going back and forth. They both look really bad. They're out here arguing, wig hanging off. I mean, and, and Danny looks like a drug addicted prostitute that's transitioning. That's what she looked like. Like, I'm like, like baby, baby. And you've been on the show three years. Let's upgrade the look. Come on, mom. And then Raven, Raven in these wigs, child. Raven in these wigs. Jocelyn says that it might not have been a good idea to bring Wet Wet. But if you don't have Wet Wet, is there a show? Because had it been up to Jocelyn, Wet Wet would not be there, okay? Wet Wet would not be there if it was up to Jocelyn. Um, But she's like, all of a sudden, she doesn't think it's a good idea that... That Wet Wet's the house mom. And I honestly, I, I think Jocelyn wants Wet Wet to fail. I really do. I really think Jocelyn wants to get on to Wet Wet. Um, like she's getting on to Wet Wet. But she fails to realize that the hyenas attacked Wet Wet first. And Wet even said that. She's like, these bitches attacked me first. And they did. Like, they set her up. It seemed like a setup to me. That's what it seemed like to me. And according to Wet Wet, she was set up. There are more, more on that later, okay? More on that later. Now, Wet Wet and Andrea, they end up hugging it out and, ha and, 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 and sharing a drink. Cheers, bitch. Just like two men. Like when two men fight, they hug it out and go drink afterwards. That's exactly what these two did. Um, now, I want to know, all my ladies, especially my ladies that wear wigs, what is it with these girls that are sniffing with other girls' wigs? We had Biggie last week sniffing um, somebody's wig on the auditions. We had Biggie sniffing somebody's wig at the auditions. This week we got uh, Isis, one of the new girls. 
When Andrea's wig falls off during the fight, Isis picks the wig up and she sniffs it. And Andrea snatches the wig. I guess she's pissed that old girl sn- uh, sniffed it. And I'm like, Andrea, you already starting shit with the new girls. You already start starting shit with the new girls. And I cannot wait to see these new girls drag these hyenas. Because we see later in this episode, Isis ends up putting paws on Andrea. Um... So Jocelyn ends up introducing Wet Wet to the new girls and everyone and says, this is the new house mom. She's going to be here to help you out. And Diamond says, I don't I don't need Wet Wet. I don't need a house mom. I don't need anybody to get me titty tape. I don't need anybody to get me wipes. I can get all, the, <laughs> all that myself. But I'm just like, Diamond, why are you here? Why are you here? Like you just gave birth. Why are we popping pussy when our pussy is still busted open and barely even stitched back up? Not stitched, but you know, your pussy ain't healed. If you just had a baby, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe the way the, the way the show made it sound, the way the show portrayed it is that Diamond just popped a baby out and was on the show next week. Maybe in Diamond's benefit of the doubt, maybe Diamond had the baby nine months to a year before. Okay, I'm trying to give her the benefit of the doubt. She's a working mother. Maybe she's a single mom. I don't know. Um, so Isis, a lot. Some of these new girls are already clocking in, right? Isis, Neek, a few of them are already trying to clock in. Isis, you know, she tells Diamond and Raven that the new girls, we're here to take y'all spots. Okay, we're here to take y'all's motherfucking spots. Come on, Isis, clock in. Clock in, sis. Get the story going, sis. Clock in for us. Diamond says, uh, I'm here for a third time. Like, you can come from my spot if you want to, but I'm here for a third time. But not really, sis. This is really your second time because you ran away on episode one last season. So, and I'm, I'm trying to figure out why they keep bringing Diamond and Raven back. Like, they don't. No shade. They're not that entertaining to me. They seem like cool girls. Like, I don't have anything against them. They've never, like, pissed me off watching the show. But I just, like, they're not that interesting. Only thing Raven does is, like, when the girls get in a fight, she puts a wig on. And she starts doing that thing that she does. Because on Raven's first season, she kind of went viral when she put the wig on and started doing the super bass thing. Well, now she's doing it every time. And it's, like, it's not going to be as funny every time, Raven. Like, like it's going to fall flat after that. Like, you might have... You might have got a viral moment the first time, but like let's let's move on to something else, okay? Um, now, Neek, I told y'all that Neek and Isis and some of these new girls they're clocking in. Neek is very pretty, very pretty girl. I do feel like she might not have the best personality, might not have the best spirit. She might be a little mean. I don't know. We got to get to know her, but she's very pretty. She seems very confident. She's clocking in as well. How do we feel about Isis and Neek? Are y'all liking Isis and Neek? Any of these new girls y'all liking so far? What are we, what are we feeling about the newbies? It seems like from what I'm gathering, it seems like it's going to be the new girls versus the OGs. That's what I'm gathering from it. Now there, two of the new girls are Chinx and Lexi, right? We meet Chinx and we meet Lexi. And these two girls apparently have a prior beef to the show. These two girls apparently shared the same pimp. Yes, pimp. Girls are still out here getting pimped at these big grown ages, okay? Um, apparently, Lexi's man, Lexi says that, that, that the pimp is her man. Lexi's man tricked off on Chinks for $20,000. Damn, that's a lick right there. Why, where, are y'all finding these, where are y'all finding these tricks at? Because please send them my way. Because $20,000, baby, what you want me to do? What you want me to do? You want me to lick nuts? Should I lick ass? Do I arch my back? You want some dick? Like what? <laughs> you feel me? Like that's a, that's a, that's a lick right there for a trick. Um, but they're messing with the same guy, so these girls have beef. Um, I've never understood having a pimp. I've never, and my favorite movie is Hustle and Flow, but I have never understood having a pimp. Why would you split or give your profits when you're the one 
that's bow-legged with a wet ass. I'm confused. Make it make sense, right? Like, what is the purpose of a pimp? I guess, like, to bring the clients to the girls? Like, but I can get my clients on my own, baby. In this world of social media, too, and technology, I don't need no pimp. You might have needed a pimp in the 70s and 80s and the 90s, but we don't need no pimp no more. I am the pimp. I'm my own pimp. I'm the pimp and the hoe, okay? And like Jocelyn even said, you hoes are too old to be getting pimped. Only young, naive hoes get pimped and let a man sell them a fucking fallacy, okay? Next week on Parking Lot Pimping. Um, so these two, Lexi, Lexi and Chinks, the ones that are sharing the pimp, they get to scrapping. The hoes is scrapping over they pimp, okay? All I see is a blonde wig and braids. And them, them girls, they stout, right? They stout. They got thighs. They stout. They was going at it, too. They was going at it. But I, I'm distracted by Jocelyn. Again, I said this last week. Who the fuck let Jocelyn go out that house on camera looking like that? Anybody got an answer to that? She looks a mess. I don't like the hair. I don't like the eyebrows. I don't like the makeup. I don't like the dress. What is happening, Jocelyn? You could have done a lot better than that for your season premiere for like the, the beginning of the cabaret. Like this is what you want to present yourself as. Okay, Cocaline. Um, now what did y'all think of the girls? Uh what did y'all think of the house that the girls are in? It's definitely an upgrade from previous seasons, right? Like, even the stairs in that house, like, when you walk up the stairs, they light up. Like, that was a nice-ass house. That was a nice-ass house. It's giving Beverly Hills. It's giving the budget is budgeting. Now, Jocelyn is talking to Ballistic in the house about the new girls and all the girls that she's brought on. And she tells Ballistic that she feels like money, Moni, whatever her name is, the, the, the cat, the the Hispanic heavier set girl. Jocelyn says she feels like she was catfished by her. She said in her pictures, Moni looked different and had a lot of energy. I don't think that they meant she they were catfished by her size. I think they were meant they were catfished because in her audition tape and in her pictures, everything else, she seemed like she had more energy. She was more spunky. But when she got there, they felt like she seemed more quiet and reserved. Um, which I think they need to give her a chance because she's probably just a little shy with it being her first couple of days. Um, or like I said in my Baddies Caribbean episode, this is why this is why Zeus needs to hire a proper casting team. Do video submissions, then do after the video submissions, Skype or Zoom all your finalists, and then after you got all your finalists, fly the ones that you think are going to be cast members, fly them in so you can get a you know, up close and personal look of who you're about to invest your money into, Zeus. I still think that the girl deserves, deserves a chance, though. Because like Jocelyn said, there are a lot of men who like fuller-figured women. Who like thick girls, right? So I think she would be representation for the cabaret, if anything. Now... Andrea versus Isis on the Sprinter. The girls are leaving this hotel that they were in and they're getting on a Sprinter van and they're heading to the house that they're going to be staying in while they're in Dallas. I think they're in Dallas first. Now, with Andrea versus Isis, Wet Wet did stir that pot a little bit. She's stirring the pot with these girls. I think that's why she's there. She's there to stir it and keep it going. But that's what Wet Wet's there for, right? Because she's like, um, anytime somebody has an issue, she's she's pointing to the other girl like, do you want to fight her? Do you want to catch her fade? Because she wants to fight you. She's orchestrating all the fights, right? Um, I mean, let's just quit the house mom bullshit. Let's quit the house mom bullshit. She's not there for that. Wet Wet was hired because she's entertaining. She's a fan favorite, and she knows how to set off a scene. That's why they brought her there. The house mom is just an excuse as to why she's there, because they know Wet Wet's not the best dancer. Um, 
Now, I think Isis, baby. Isis versus Andrea. I think Isis had Andrea scared for a little bit. Because at one moment, and I think had they not been on the bus and they had more room to move, I think Isis would have really fucked Andrea up. Because at one point, she had Andrea on the seat, on the bus seat. Just boo, 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 boo. Fucking hell up. Fucking her up. Fucking her up. And Andrea's eyes were like, like she didn't, she wasn't expecting that. She wasn't expecting that. And did I, did Isis piss on herself? Did y'all notice the back of Isis's yoga pants? They like they were soaked. Okay. Now after Andrea, after Andrea fights Isis. Now Danny wants a piece. After Andrea, uh, after Danny sees that Isis done fucked up Andrea a little bit, done tossed her around a little bit, Danny's like, "Oh, she wants a piece. You know, she wants to get in there. She wants to, uh, uh, she wants to fight her." But Isis is like, "No, nah, I don't want to fight. Let's wait till we. Let's wait till we get off the bus. Let's wait till we get off the bus." And it's like, "No, nah, girl, get in the paint right now and fuck Danny up." And that's what she did. That's what Isis did. And when I say fuck up or beat her ass, I don't mean like they literally like just fuck them up. But I mean like they won the fight in my eyes, right? Because Danny really thought she was about to eat that. And Mama Sita was in for a surprise, okay? All I saw was that big wig just flying everywhere because Isis got her ass down on the ground and was fucking her up too i was living y'all i was living for it i'm not gonna lie now andrea's stupid funky ass decides to try and help danny by jumping in and it's like no baby we ain't gonna be doing this tag team and shit all season with you two hyenas the hyenas are going to be tag teaming all season, I guess. I bet you they made a pack before they came in. Like, girl, we got to have each other's back. If somebody jumps on you, I'm going to jump them. If, if somebody jump on me, you jump them. I be thinking about the poor Sprinter van driver. Could you imagine you driving this Sprinter van around? You just, you, just, you know, this is my 9 to 5. And then all of a sudden the van's just rocking. It's like, what the fuck is going on? And everybody back there fighting. Could you imagine? Yeah. Now, after watching, after watching <laughs> a lot of these fights, I'd be like, I'm so glad I don't have a lot of hair. Because the first instinct in fighting with these girls is to pull hair. Just grab the hair. I think I think it's just like a like a survival instinct. Like, a what's the first thing I can grab? What's the first thing I can do? The first thing I can do to defend myself? Um, now, let's talk about... Um, Danny, Danny, just like Raven, is trying to force a moment. Like they want to be a meme so bad. These girls want to become like a meme, really bad. And that's just not how it works, Miss New Schools. Miss New Schools, a successful meme, a successful meme comes from an organic and authentic moment off the cuff that was not premeditated okay that's what makes a meme funny and that's what makes a meme a meme because while the girls are fighting while all of the girls are scrapping danny is like um danny is like laying back with a hairbrush in her hand and she's making all these noises and doing the most like oh my god Oh, 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 they're fighting. They're fighting. Oh, look at like, like she's doing the most, trying to like be cute, be funny, get a moment, get a meme, and it's like it's not landing, sis. It's not landing at all. It's 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 not landing at all. You like I I guess she thinks it's funny, but it's not. And you're not bad, Danny. You think you bad, but you're not. You just doing bad, baby. You just doing bad. Big difference. Now I thought that Neek Neek I thought Miss Neek was going to be able to fight with the amount of shit that she's been talking since she walked through the door. But I believe that Neek is just a pretty girl and that's it. Okay. It's giving that Neek is just a pretty girl and that's it. Because um, the little white girl, the little white girl that's been kissing Jocelyn's ass since she got there. I can't think of her name. Oceans. 
oceans oceans she might be mixed i don't know if she's white she might be mixed maybe she's light skinned i don't know but oceans her and neek fought and it seemed like oceans was getting the best of neek every time i'm like now come on neek neek so the girls get to the house they finally get to the house jocelyn greets them and she kicks Wet Wet out immediately. I'm telling y'all, Jocelyn is going to, this entire season, you're going to notice that Jocelyn tries to make Wet Wet's life hell. Because she don't like her. She don't want her there. Um, it's giving, it's going to be pick on Wet Wet season, which I already knew that. Wet Wet's already told us that on Instagram. I meant to do a video on that. Um, but now in Jocelyn's defense, which I don't come to very often, in Jocelyn's defense... She did tell these girls to be quiet when she's talking. And 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 wet wet. You and Raven and Diamond and Danny and Andrea, y'all have already worked for Jocelyn. Y'all know how it go. So when Jocelyn's up there talking and y'all be running y'all's mouth, shut the fuck up. Cause you know what she gonna do. Y'all know how she roll. Y'all know she don't play that shit. Right? So she sends wet wet out. And then she ends up sending wet wet back into the house later. And Wet Wet, one of the first things Wet Wet says to Jocelyn is, you said you was going to get my teeth fixed last season, and you didn't stand on that. And I'm just like, oh, God. Oh, God, Wet Wet, why did you just do that? Why did you just do that? No, Wet Wet, no. Even if Jocelyn did say that, okay, and she might have. She might have said it on camera, and I don't remember. But even if she did, Nobody's entitled to do to do anything for you, Wet Wet. And I love you. I love you, sis. But like, she's not entitled to pay for your dental work. You've been on this show for three years, Wet Wet. And if you've negotiated your contract the right way, then you should have been, you know, at least making five to six figures in the last year or two. Or since you've been on the cabaret, or at least now in your third season, you should be making a good little bit to get your teeth fixed on your own. Which we've we've recently seen on Instagram that she did. She did go to Columbia or go somewhere and got her teeth fixed. I guess that she finally did that with this check. But to expect Jocelyn to do it, and then to ask, and then to confront her about it and say you was gonna get my, oh my God, the entitlement, wet wet, the entitlement, no ma'am. No, ma'am. Now, Jocelyn starts to tell Wet Wet, you can get the fuck out right now. You can leave right now. Wet Wet says, is that what you want? Is that what you want me to do? You want me to leave? Um, and Jocelyn knows she don't want Wet Wet to leave because she makes the season. We saw last season. If it wasn't for Wet Wet last season, season four would have fallen completely flat and there would have been no season five. Let's just be real. Those girls on season four were too busy trying to lick on each other's pussies and have fucking love triangles and, and were fighting and, and on their periods every day. Jocelyn knows she needs Wet Wet there, which is why when Wet Wet kept saying, do you want me to leave? Do you want me to leave and not come back? I don't think Jocelyn ever gave a direct answer. Producers are the one that wanted Wet Wet back. Lemon Pepper requested that Wet Wet was there. Same thing with baddies. Just like Natalie didn't want Callie there. Natalie did not want Callie on baddies. But guess what? Lemon Pepper overrode that. Same thing with this situation. Jocelyn did not want Wet Wet back. Just like she didn't want Lucky back last season. But guess what? Lemon Pepper overrode it. We need them there for good TV. Take your feelings out of it. The fans love Wet Wet. The fans love Lucky. We're bringing her back, Jocelyn. Get your feelings out of it. That's what happened. Y'all really think Jocelyn won't Wet Wet there? Look at how she treats Wet Wet. She don't want her there. And um, Jocelyn, she always <sighs> tries to degrade the women in the cabaret and she's talking about how wet wet's breath is awful and how she gags and what's crazy is i've heard from like three different influencers or reality stars or girls that have been on the show with her say that they either say jocelyn's breath stinks or that she's musty a lot so it's i'm starting to believe them jocelyn because 
anytime Jocelyn gets into it with somebody, she says their breath smells. And I'm like, I, I, I know just everybody you coming in contact with Jocelyn ain't got bad breath. I'm starting to think that it's you that has the halitosis and you're projecting that. Do you got halitosis, Jocelyn? And and you're embarrassed by it, so you you say that everybody else has it to take the heat off of you. That's what it's giving me. Now, after Jocelyn's getting upset with wet wet, so what does she do? She snaps her fingers, not literally, but she she says, Andrea, Andrea, come here. Get this bitch out of my face. And did y'all see how quick Jocelyn told Andrea to jump? And Andrea said, how high? How high, master? And she did it. She did it. I told y'all that's the only reason Jocelyn's got these girls like Diamond, Raven, Andrea, and Danny around. They all have something in common. And that's they're going to do whatever Jocelyn tells them to do. And let's be honest. Why is she trying to kick Wet Wet out? Let's be honest. Episodes one and two have been surrounded by Wet Wet. They've it's it's mainly been around her. So she knows she don't want Wet Wet to go home. She wants her to go home, but she knows she can't let her go home, right? <laughs> now Wet Wet is outside after she's been kicked out the house again. She's pissed. She's doing her wet, wet thing. Yes. Yes, bitch. Yes. Wet, wet said, when people think about motherfucking Jocelyn's cabaret, they think about wet, wet, bitch. And she's right. She says, because I'm so fucking wet, bitch. She cracks me up. She was outside. She said, when people think about Jocelyn's cabaret, they think about wet, wet. Because I'm so fucking wet, bitch. Love me some wet wet. Oh, and she proceeded to pop a squat when she did that too. She's iconic without even trying. Wet wet's just iconic without even trying. Okay, so Jocelyn is telling all the girls that she's on probation, right? We know Jocelyn's on probation after the shit that happened last season when she was uh, at that Floyd Mayweather fight and she went on a coke tirade and went crazy and got arrested for putting her hands on everybody. Um, now, she says that she's on probation and she can't fight. And Andrea, after Jocelyn says that, Andrea starts walking in circles and she says, she's on probation. I'm taking all her fades. Like, girl, you are so delusional. You are the most delusional fucking person that's ever been on this cabaret. And you think that you are just like hulk or something and you can fight all these girls when i cannot wait to see them all dog walk you down that beautiful fucking staircase in that home that y'all are living in who who do you think you are andrea like come on it's the boldness for me you got all this boldness baby and you couldn't hurt a fucking ladybug ho like and and, and where and jocelyn where is this energy for Andrea that you had for Wet Wet because you got pissed anytime Wet Wet would speak up but Andrea just interrupted you when you were talking about being on probation saying she gonna catch all your fate oh but she's licking your ass so it's okay right she's licking your ass I get it I get it I get it Wet Wet, wet couldn't say a word without you dogging her and kicking her out but Andrea can run her cum guzzler I got it now the police end up showing up to the house I we never got any resolution as to why they were there who called them we don't know but the police show up to the house wet wet is outside she gets in the back seat of the car and, and is crying talking about you know she's going through a lot and and i i don't know if the if the if the cause, you know they in a bougie neighborhood so i don't know if some 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 folks don't call the law or what but i'm like did wet wet call them why is wet wet in the back of the cop car why is she crying to the cops what is going on now jocelyn she tells the girls everybody in their room everybody get in their rooms <laughs> everybody go to their rooms right now uh which listen i'm just like jocelyn too if i was on probation and i saw a cop car bitch bye i got to go okay like no i'm not trying to get in no shit i'm not trying to get in nothing but um she sends all the girls to their room 
And then that's all we really hear from it. We didn't really get any, like, why are the cops there? What happened? Who called them? What did they say? It was anybody arrested? Why? I, I don't know. So many questions surrounding this. So many questions. Now, after the whole cop situation, Jocelyn tells the girls that they're going to a pool party today. And that she wants no fighting at the pool party. Yeah, right. Um, but she says, if you have any issues, get it out right now. It's kind of like on baddies. They do this all the time. It's also pre-produced. We're going out to the club tonight. We're having a house meeting. Is there anybody that wants to get their issues off their chest? Same thing with baddies. Same things here with the cabaret. They're going out to a pool party today. She doesn't want any fighting. Does anybody have any issues that they want to get off their chest, right? Well, Chinks automatically steps up. Because a producer has told her. A producer has told Chinks, hey, look, before the pool party today, when Jocelyn asks if y'all have any unresolved issues, why don't you run up on on old girl? So Chinks steps up and she wants to fight the girl that's been fucking on her pimp, right? So they go they go after one another. Um, and we see that little fight happen, and then we get a sneak peek for next week's episode, which we get to see them at the pool party. We see the aftermath of the fight between Chinks and the other girl. And it looks like they're still picking on the big girl, the heavyset girl, for not being loud and obnoxious enough, I guess. Like, I'm like, why are y'all picking on this girl? Like, leave her, let her be. Like, is she not there to dance and be in the cabaret? Why y'all want her to turn up so bad? Um, and also next week's episode, Andrea is getting her ass whooped again. <laughs> And I'm here for it. I am here for the ass whoopings, okay? If you have not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. That I'm I'm sorry, y'all. I have to wrap this video up. That's it. Probably felt a little rushed, like I was speeding through it. But I've got to get out of here. Like I'm I'm already over my time. So hit the subscribe button, like this video. That helps me get into the algorithm, and I would so appreciate it. Also, get in the comment section. Leave me your thoughts and opinions on Jocelyn's Cabaret Episode Two, Season Five. I want to hear everything you got to say. Whose team are you on? Team Wet Wet or Team Andrea and Danny? Team Hyenas or Team Wet Wet? Uh, team Jocelyn or Team Wet Wet? Let me know all your thoughts and opinions. And if you want to donate, down there in the description box are some ways that you will be able to donate. Don't forget you're special. Don't forget you have so much power and fire in you. And you're never too old to follow your dreams and do what you want to do. Okay, so don't listen to what anybody says. If you want something, go out there and get it. And last but not least, don't ever let a bitch try you, okay? Love you guys so much, and we'll see you next time.